Hello, this is Matthew, and today I am going to do another Boom Beach video, and I'm gonna show you uh, a Doctor Terror stage with two, actually, which I had have beaten. Uh, so that if you saw Doctor Terror has landed there, you know that he has landed on my uh, base. So. Now I have got something new, barrages, uh, they are very cool, like uh, you could shoot them very good and they do a couple of damage, so here I am taking out the doctor chair very quickly because of them, uh, I attacked with the heavy suit because strategy. So uh, that Zuka was going somewhere else, but then directed back to HQ, so I threw a flare there, just in case. And there we beat the base very easily. Like, the first two bases are always easy, but uh, with the updates they clearly became a bit harder. Well, the first stage remained the same, but the second increased by uh, six. Six more, six more levels, which is pretty hard, but still it's not that hard. So now deep pockets is not is obviously not Doctor Terror. It was a base I won, and in my opinion, was a bit hard. But again, thanks to the barrages, I blew the base. So now with the help of barrages I have cleared some sniper towers and defenses. And there I swiped off a cannon which would do some damage like they usually do. So I threw my troops, heavy zuka again. Uh, I had a problem with throwing them because like Zukas came out first. But thanks to the the game was created, uh, they, the heavies are made to be faster than Zookas so that they can remain at the back so the heavies can soak up the damage. So there we can see that the base is dead already. So we did attack that sniper tower and broke it. Now, uh, the level 10 sniper tower is not uh, in range of my troops, and two, the two machine guns are, were two, but the, the remaining one was. But it's, it was still resulted as a win. So now, we're going, I'm gonna show you third stage two. I attacked this base with my barrages, and I won. So, as I said, the first two uh, st stages are always easy. So, well, this HQ level 15, I mean, level 15 stage was a bit hard, but um, I blew out his blue cannon, then threw uh, a full barrage on the cannon and killed him with the archery shells since I didn't have any more gunboat to put another barrage on him. And so I will direct my troops through that rocket launcher cause he'll totally uh, destroy them. So flare on that defense cause it's gonna cause some trouble. Uh, mostly all of my troops went to the HQ but some remain getting more gunboat from tanks and stuff. So there it was another easy win for my troops. Uh, so this is a player base I won. Uh, this guy was level 19 so uh, it's obviously I would win because since I am 21. And again with the help of my barrages I completely shred this guy. So like I boomed his cannons because they were the main defenses. 
boomed, boomed other cannon with my barrages and another artillery shells. Boom. So there. Now the most powerful defense is on the back, which is the level 7 sniper tower. That was the only hard thing. So some of my warriors attacked that raider over there. Uh, now the, they will advance on the HQ, shock some of the most powerful defense quickly before uh, they destroy my troops. Uh, the HQ is going down slowly, uh, but pretty much that's it. And there, it was a fantastic win. Only th three warriors serve, died. So, it wasn't very hard, guys. So, another, this is uh, Mag G's base. Uh, I won it. So, I'm gonna show it to you. So, this base was a bit strong, but he had everything like clamped together in one place. So, it was uh, like the treat of the barrage. Because barrage is just like defenses made together and then they wreck it totally. So, cannons gone. Uh, sniper towers remaining, uh, so that's pretty much it. So, have now. Uh, now, they are rampaging through some resource givers. Zookas on the s not some, uh, the wood storage, but now they're advancing on. The machine guns and sniper towers. Uh, rocket on the machine gun to stop it from doing any damage to the Zukas. French or like a silly old baby it is not doing anything. That's the problem with with French towers. They like are blind. So uh, gunboat energy is getting very uh, increased. Machine gun. I mean, sniper towers are still there, two of them, and a mortar, but that won't be a problem. So here, we're gonna take the base, even with uh, two powerful defenses doing nothing. So there is another win. Uh, I will show you now a battle with child. Oh. I, I I always win. Uh, this battle is uh, very I don't know it. It looked hard, but it wasn't. Uh, the, the only problem with this guy is that sniper tower level one up there. His machine gun level two or one uh, in the front. His boom mine was okay, and he had only one cannon, which is very funny. Plus, he did not have a flamethrower, which was not a good thing, cause like flamethrowers like a lot to kill uh, warriors because they are melee. So some zookas and uh, two heavies on the HQ, the others are uh, bolting through the defenses trying to help the HQ so this it was a close battle so Zookas are very valuable in their health and possibly one hit from a sniper tower could kill them but luckily they survived now the last uh, bases so I'm gonna skip some players cause so this is now a resource base which is still mine, which you know uh, never got beaded again. So uh, the rocket launcher was the main dangerous uh, defense, so it would be ideal to swipe it off the base 
to make it easy for my troops. So the flamethrower also was a big problem, but I shocked it together with other powerful defenses. Basically, every defense was dangerous, but the flamethrower is the most because highly increased flamethrowers are not to mess with, unless you are bazookas, because they can outrange it. So flare on the machine gun. Because that is totally going to shred, shred my Zookas. So now it's a pretty win. And by resource base. Luckily I got some uh, great improving, improvisations. Improves. I impro the base totally improved itself well. Uh, it was great. So this was another base, uh, it was fairly easy, uh, it had a very lame uh, flamethrower and a cannon, but its sniper towers were hard because, okay, low battery, <laughs> great, we'll have time, we'll have time. So, there we can see the troops attacking the, uh, the defenses, not a nice picture, but it was a win. So uh, the heavies are blazing hot, so that's why I mostly hate, uh, that's why I mostly hate playing chores because they literally burn me. So uh, almost everyone is on the HQ. Except for Mr. Heavy attacking the radar and also risking his life because, like, there's a machine gun from range on him. But I won thanks to everyone except Mr. Heavy attacking the radar. So, we're gonna see. Uh, the last replay, then we're gonna open an operation. Sadly, it's milk run still, cause... So this is not uh, a player base. This was uh, an NPC base. It was a bit hard. Because of those three. But then I swiped them off before they could do serious damage. So, you can say that uh, the rocket launcher and the... And the flamethrower and the uh, defense, which I forgot what was. Oh, the mortar got swiped off. So, through the heavies, head first into the defenses, through the. through the Zookas inside. Zookas on the. Uh, Machine gun, and now on the flamethrower, and as I had said, that Zuka's outrange flamethrowers, which was easy, and in this case, a good point. So, that machine gun is totally killing my Zuka's. I'm gonna shock that snap tab before it literally uh, burns my Zuka's. And now, my base. Actually, it's a base which I conquered. So now we're gonna open a, an operation and even, well, show you my latest one, which was pretty lame, cause. So this is my last operation, almost the dumbest in the world. So I'm not gonna go through. So basically me and Zach Lord base attacked. Uh, Guru is, the most guy with uh, victory points in our team and highly leveled. Uh, Mitzi is another guy and he's more leveled than him. But so in this picture we see, actually we're not seeing anything yet. But in here uh, we can now just see the tanks, slow tanks. 
I had to say slow tanks being shocked. Great, so they'll be get even slower. Um, flared to that machine gun. And basically, I think he wants to get, he wants to boom that machine gun. Get more force points. And now, he's gonna kill that cannon. Oh, that cannon killed that tank. Not the tank, but the cannon. Uh, anyway, he's, sh this shock launcher is terribly shocking them. Fire. Oh, great. I, I hate, I hate tanks. They suck. They could be a bit faster, can they? Basically, story ends there. They get chugged, they fire, get chugged, fire, and so on. So this is Gummy Bear. Uh, if I had to say, he's the least one. He's the worst one in our clan, but still he's in our task force. And the serious damage. So like he broke a whole cannon and shredded two. Actually not a whole cannon. Who it was damaged by Mr. Guru. So he uh, attacked with uh, all Rifleman except one boat, which had uh, three Zukas. So you know uh, Zukas are not that good when they are with Rifleman. They are totally in danger. But uh, in this case, uh, Gummy Bear did some good attacking. He broke two cannons, one on his own, uh, actually he broke three, one with rocket, another he destroyed, oh, oh, painful, terribly painful. Anyway, now it's time to open the operation. As usual, it's gonna be Mulkman. In the history of my clan, I'm in task force. Oh, you again? In the history of my task force, this was the only operation we ever opened. We, I think we broke a whole record. Most task force that uh, opened Mokran, we opened it almost like a million times, which is not true. Uh, so. Ooh, this base looks good. Look at that boom cannon. He's so lonely. He needs someone to destroy him. I can do that happily with my barrages anyway. Oh, look at that. This is jackpot. Even though there's a cannon there, which... Oh. I saw that creep. Oh. If it isn't a rocket launcher. There's always a, a rocket launcher in these battles. What level is he? Is he level 5 or 6 or... He's level 5! Oh great, that's an improvement. Usually they're level 6. Oh no. Eh, but I think this is... Is this... Oh, this is the easiest base. Let's go the hardest. Uh, I instruct you never to attack uh, the hardest base un unless it is the very easy. Okay, oh. Ooh. I don't know, this is, oh god, this is so confusing. They are both easy. Well, I think I'm more on uh, attacking. Okay, maybe this guy is level six rocket launchers. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something to my task force. Uh, so easy. There. So easy. Uh, let's see if anyone is playing. Oh, I hate it when this device falls. Oh no! Oh, I was gonna press sell the I would. Oh, someone is. Who? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, 
So we're gonna attack this uh, uh, in this operation, and then we're going to see uh, now this base obviously. We're gonna attack, and then I'm gonna show the replays, and I hope uh, Zeklord base will still be on, so he can attack uh, with me in this operation. So, uh, uh, bye, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you guys later.